the defender of the veil. Uncle Peter! My lord, come and see. I missed your name day, go on. <gasps> A falcon! A deer falcon. The greatest and rarest of birds. Last time I saw you, Baelish, you told me you were taking Sansa Stark home with you to the Fingers. Indeed I was. And yet, not long ago, we received reports that she has been married to Ramsay Bolton in Winterfell. On our way to the Fingers, we were set upon by a large force of Bolton men. We seemed to know exactly when we were traveling and exactly whom we were transporting. Do you take me for a fool? Tell me, Lord Royce, how many people knew of my travel plans with Sansa Stark? I shared my intentions with you, and no one else. Slander a man in his own home, you might find yourself crossing swords with him. Your home is the Vale. The Lord of the Vale stands before us, and only his judgment concerns me. <laughs> Should we throw him through the moon door? My lord. My lord, I have always been faithful to House Aaron. To your father, to your mother, and now to you. Do you believe him, Uncle Peter? <laughs> lord Royce has served the Vale well. He's enjoyed a distinguished military career. If we could trust his absolute loyalty, he would make a capable commander in the wars to come. You can trust my absolute loyalty, my lord. I think he deserves one more chance. What do you say? Fine. I bring good news. My friends in the north tell me Sansa has escaped Winterfell. I expect she's headed to Castle Black, where her brother serves as Lord Commander. But she won't be safe there. Not with the Boltons after her. She's my cousin. We should help her. That was my instinct as well. Our Lord has spoken. Gather the Knights of the Vale. Time has come to join the fray.